All you Georgia fans better get used to hearing that song this week because that's all that's going to be playing by the LSU band. First down, we'll play the first song y'all heard and then whenever Georgia is about to punt after third down, you'll be hearing that last song y'all just heard. Go Tigers and Chinese Bandits, get used to those Georgia fans. Uh, no, nah, what am I doing? I'm being really cocky. Actually, I think this game this week will be a very good game. Uh, just due to the fact that both teams, they've been winning recently. LSU 4-0, uh, Georgia 3-1. and uh, But they've been winning recently, and Georgia's won three straight. LSU's obviously won four straight. They're undefeated. Uh, no shit. But, uh, so... What I got to thinking is, uh, LSU, I didn't see the LSU-Mississippi State game, because uh, I was working, but didn't sound like LSU was playing solid on either side of the ball. Chad Jones, uh, player of the game by far in that, he returned a punt 92 or 93 yards for a touchdown. Uh, he... He was the one that blocked that pass by Ole Miss at the goal line, and that set up the fourth down that was stuffed. Uh, he also plays baseball, was a hero in the College World Series, too, and uh, just all-around great athlete, Chad Jones. But from what I've seen, Joe Cox has been throwing interceptions a lot, and... Uh, I don't know, LSU, I expect them to get at least one pick against uh, Joe Cox, even though they're on the road, Joe seems to be more comfortable in Athens between the hedges, but we'll see what happens, and the reason why I'm not talking about Texas Tech right now, it's not because I'm switching to LSU like most people have recommended, but this is the season where I'm trying to prove that I, I can stick to both teams. Even though Texas Tech is 2-2 two and two, and Brandon Carter's out for, uh, Isaac told me just this week and I played New Mexico, that's why I'm not making a video, it's New Mexico. And, I don't know, uh, I was originally mad due to the fact that, uh, Taylor Potts audible to a QB sneak, uh, that mainly was the difference in the game, but I really overreacted to that call. He probably just got caught up in the heat of the moment and just audible to QB sneak for himself. I mean, from what I saw, it didn't look like anybody else knew what was going on. Baron Batch just kind of chilled there, and the wide receivers were like, what is going on? And uh, the linemen were just like, oh, he's running the ball, let's push. And like I said, uh, I think he got in on the second effort, but not much they can say about that. They lost by one point, and they're now 2-2. Two and two. Uh, The thing about U of H and their two huge wins, I was actually just looking at uh, this paper here. Uh, I don't know if y'all can see that, but it was in the Houston Chronicle right after U of H beat, the day after U of H beat, uh, uh, sorry, Oklahoma State couldn't think there for a second. But, from what I remember, U of H wouldn't have won that game if uh, their running back caught that uh, deflected pass in the end zone for a touchdown. They wouldn't have won there. And, I don't know, if Tech scores the touchdown there, they wouldn't have beaten Tech either. So, I know it's kind of the homer in me to say that U of H has gotten lucky in their two huge wins that they've gotten but if you think about it it's kinda true because I thought Tech was gonna roll over uh, Houston but I was wrong and I give Houston credit for playing a great game uh, 
Chase, er, sorry. I keep wanting to call him Chase, but his name's Case, that's kind of different. But he, Case Keenum played really well. And he threw to uh, one receiver, I forgot what his last name was. I think his number was like 19 or something like that. But they seem to have a very strong uh, pass-catch relationship. But uh, the LSU-Georgia game will be a good game. Uh, I got a bet with Magnum. If uh, Georgia wins, I get on here. I haven't found any Georgia stuff, but I'll, I'll get one. I'll get you some Magnum. Uh, I'll get some for you if they uh, if LSU loses. Uh, I'll think of something just to make up and then wear. And uh, if LSU loses or LSU wins. Sorry, uh, you know what you got to do. So uh, let's see if I can get some trash talking on between the Tigers and the Bulldogs. And I'll catch y'all later, guys. Peace.